veteran gospel artist Luton and Stitchy who suffered a, a massive stroke is in dire need of your help. While this teacher in the background says that he spent a million and a dollar to go to school and nothing in this life is free. But any school free, I must be paid. It's not God gave that. I am not sunlight. God gave that. Welcome back to the Prophetic to Channel. Shalom family, this is your Prophet, Prophet Daniel. Remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. If you are a new viewer to Prophetic Rush TV, click that subscribe button family. Post notification bell, like and share for the algorithm of YouTube. Now welcome back. I want to take time out to big up all my viewers and my subscribers. Thank you for making Prophetic Rush the place family. Now I want to look at something important today. I saw this article and I decided to do a vlog about veteran gospel artist Luton and City, otherwise known as Cleveland Lang. Now, I saw that this man have got a, a massive stroke and saw an article online also where they speak about a brain, brain hemorrhage that has taken place in the life. If you look in this video, he was performing at a show and you can see the evidence that something is wrong with Lieutenant City if you as a subscriber prior. I see somebody posting on social media asking for prayer for this man of God. And I want to do the same also. That God's will, that healing will come upon his life. I think, I still think that he has a lot more inside of him. At a time he was planning to do more via a subscriber. Here come this predicament in his life at 58 years old. Now I saw online that they have set up a GoFundMe. I was reading an article also, not going to read all the article, from the Jamaica Observer that spoke about what might have taken place. This article is, is that Lieutenant Stitchy in hospital, family appeals for help. It says that veteran DJ Lieutenant Stitchy has been reportedly hospitalized in Kingston after suffering a debilitating stroke on Tuesday. Dave Rodney's former manager told the Jamaica Observer that the entertainer's family confirmed his hospitalization. Rodney, however, could not confirm the extent of his illness. I quote, There's been talk that he suffered a stroke, but that's up to the doctors to determine. There's been no official statement, unquote, said Rodney. News that Stitchy was devastated by a severe brain image, did the social media rounds early Tuesday, and that his family had set on a GoFund account to raise money for his medical care. Now, that is what is taking place today, viewers and subscribers. I want to say, separate and apart from prayer, is the support that he needs also for this care and this situation that is in family. In fact, when it's when they put up the GoFund link, because people are a bit skeptic. This is on the Jamaica Observer. For those that want to give to Luton and Stitchy in this time, I am very skeptic when it comes to like GoFundMe and all these things because I know that the scammers are out there. So you have got to take it from a legitimate source. Now the GoFundMe is on the Jamaica Observer page. It says, I quote, We are reaching out to you during this incredible challenging time our beloved clive lieutenant ling a husband father and friend has recently suffered a severe brain hemorrhage hemorrhage that has left him unresponsive i quote we urgently need you to join us to provide the help needed in a long-term care facility where he can receive their rehabilitation care your donation will make a difference by bringing hope to Lieutenant, by bringing hope to Lieutenant Sitchi and his family during this difficult time. Your generosity and prayers mean the world to us. We are grateful for your support and to help cover the causes of his transfer, medical care, and living expenses in the long-term care home. 
every donation, no matter how small, will make a difference and bring bring hope to Cleve and his family during this difficult journey. Previous as subscriber and most importantly, share what you can financially to help this prolific artist. Stitch is an artist that I've been listening to from he was a secular artist and I saw the transformation that he has made when he became a Christian. Luton and Sitch and Papasan over the years, viewers and subscriber, and they have stand their grounds in terms of their faith, doing music as a means of ministry. Right now, if you check my playlist on my phone, you will see his song, one of his songs on my phone. Viewers. It is a heart rending situation in which he's in, viewers and subscriber, but keep on praying and trusting God for this man of God to recover. Now, I want to share a video with a teacher that says, take the R out of free and turn it into a fee. He said that he paid a lot of money to go to college and he's not about to give his service free. Now, when he said that something spurred in my spirit, remember that prophetic rush means reaching and reach souls for heaven. I said to myself that most of the time we said to ourselves that salvation is free. And yes, it, it is. But a purchase was made for us to receive salvation, family. Even though I understand what this teacher is saying, that nothing is free. There was a purchase that was made on Calvary for the salvation of us, family. I want to create a foundation before I show the video. With Acts 20:28, 20, it says, Take heed therefore unto yourself and to all the flocks over which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he had purchased with his own blood. It was the blood of Jesus that made that purchase, we as a subscriber, that you and I can be engrafted can be received, can be adopted in the family of God. Watch this video, family. Tell me what you think. Drop a comment also. And remember, pray for Lieutenant Stitchy and his family. Do whatever you can. Pray for somebody. Listen, this is your prophet, your nabi, straight out of Portmore. Shalom, family. One love. Me become him, me become impact that in a denim town high school at any school free. I must be paid. It's not free. I paid a million, one million, two hundred and something thousand for my degree. And the government, I am underemployed. And the government want to, my, I to use my skills free. <laughs> As my learned colleagues, say, let us remove the R. And charge a fee. <laughs> Nothing is free. You go to the supermarket, you have to pay. You go to the meat market, you have to pay. You go to the to the thing you have, you have to pay. I cannot say I'm a teacher and get it free. Not even a discount at the bookstore for your children as a teacher. Mm -hmm. It is not free. Nothing in life is free. When you go to the doctor, you have to pay a fee. Not even the health card that the ministry gives is not sufficient to cover the cost. You have to go in pocket. It is not free. Teachers must learn to charge a fee. <laughs> Oh, decorate school for graduation free. You have decorators in, um, uh, what do you call it? Interior they decorators. They charge a fee. They charge a fee. Why should I do it for free? <laughs> the presenters charge a fee. Why should I give motivational speaker speeches at school for free? free. MCs at concerts and weddings get a fee. Why should I MC the, the, the function at school for free? And when they are doing consultants, consultants work, they get a fee. Fee. 
Yes, why should I live for free? Nothing I do in school free. God had those days when I was young and naive. No more. Free. No more freeness. So you say teacher must charge. I am not oxygen. God gave that. I am not sunlight. God gave that. You have to pay me a fee. It's not free. Oh, teacher must do everything free. Every time you talk, they offend me. Everything you want to walk money. So I want to make the mayor go wrong. I want me to take care of my family. Don't take me to be idiot. You're a Christian, you're a free ride.